I'm going to show you how to use the new robot from Wave.2, Mr. Ray. Now, here we have a conversation that's trying to organise a day at the fair. Now, as you can see, two people have been talking rather briefly about visiting, and they want to invite somebody called Tom. Now, Tom doesn't have a Wave account, and normally what you'd have to do is send a separate email out to this user, or maybe just take the conversation out of Wave completely. But now what you're able to do is use Mr. Ray to include them into the conversation on Wave. So if I add Mr. Ray into the Wave, you can see what he's done is he's added this gadget here, which allows me to add email participants. So I can just type in my email address and press Add. And you can now see that a new user has been added to the Wave. This is the email participant. And if I go to check my emails, I've got a new email. It tells me here that I've been subscribed to a Wave. I've been added to the Wave day out by this user. So I can click here to view the Wave and reply. Now, you may notice here that I don't have a Wave account, and this isn't quite the nor normal Google Wave interface. It's the Mr. Ray interface, which is similar to Google Wave and provides similar functionality. Here you can see a list of the blips that have been sent to the Wave already. And also here you've got the unread status, so if I want I can click on them and it will mark them as read for me. And then once I'm happy that I've read them all, I can start reply, replying. So I press the reply button. And you can see my new blip appear here. If I go back to the wave, you can see it's appeared here as well. Also, the Mr. Ray interface supports the full threading model of Google Wave. So I can reply to this blip here. And you can see the reply has appeared in line. Now if I leave this page and go off to do something else, the conversation may continue on Google Wave. I'll be notified about these changes through an email. So I can click here again, visit the link, and I can see the changes. So here I've got one unread message, it will be ace. And I can continue to reply. Now if I bring the two interfaces together, so I've got the normal Google Wave interface on the left here, and the Mr. Ray interface on the right. You can see that as Google Wave users type into the Wave, it appears in real time in the Mr. Ray interface. This allows an email participant to participate in a in a wave without actually needing an account. So if they just want to talk in one or two waves, it doesn't mean that they have to sign up to an entire new service. Thanks for watching.